In this video, I'll be showing how to DIY easy and affordable vajayshaw at home. I will also be sharing tips and hacks on how to properly shave down there to avoid ingrown hairs and bumps. Ensure you're subscribed to this channel if you're not already. Give this video a thumbs up because trust me, you're going to find it super helpful. Let's jump right into this video. The first step is hair removal. Now, there are several ways you can do that. In this video, I'm going to be talking about two ways. The first one is shaving. Now, I love to shave using men's razor. I find that men's razor gives you a close shave. It usually has um, five to six blades. And what this does is it gives you that close shave, thereby preventing any cuts or any bumps. Another thing about this particular brand of um, razor is that it has this blue stripe. I don't know if you can see that. And what that does is when it gets in contact with water, it makes it slimy, thereby allowing it to glide easily on your skin. It also has a removable head, so you can easily do that. You don't have to change the whole thing. And then you want to shave using a conditioner. Hear me out, guys. Okay, so the same thing conditioner does to your hair which is to soften it is the same thing is going to do to your hair down there you just want to apply it on your skin i like to leave it on for three to five minutes so it further softens my hair and then i go into shave you're going to find that this is going to make the shaving process easy your hairs are going to be soft and the blade is going to glide easily on your skin a shaving tip i want to share is to shave in the direction your hair grows this is going to give a closer shave and it would bluntly shave the hair follicles that way it's not piercing into the skin and causing ingrown hairs another way you can shave is by using aloe vera gel now aloe vera gel serves as a great alternative for shaving gel its moisturizing and soothing properties are going to help the shaving process easy <music> Another thing you can use to shave is men's shaving cream, okay? If you think about it, men's shaving cream are designed for men's faces, you know, they use it on their faces. So this is amazing, especially for people with sensitive skin. It gives you a nice close shave. The same way it would shave a man's face, that's the same way it's going to shave down there. Since it is designed to be used on the face, it is made with much more gentler ingredients, which makes it an amazing alternative for shaving gel especially if you're someone that has sensitive skin the second air remover method is air removal cream this is my go-to when it comes to removing hairs down there but one of the downside of this is that over time you're going to notice that it darkens the area you use it on i'm going to be showing a way to compact the darkening effect but you basically just want to apply this on leave on for um, i usually leave it for 10 minutes and then just use the stuff that it came with to take the hairs out so after the hair removal process you want to go in with a scrub so this is my diy sugar scrub of sugar um, olive oil and aloe vera gel so just apply that on the shaved um, skin and then you want to go in circular motions and be gentle with this please because you just shaved so that um, part of your skin is still a bit sensitive so you just want to be really gentle with this and go in circular motions make sure to work it well into your skin after that go ahead to rinse this off and immediately you're going to notice this nice smooth moisturized skin the next step is to steam the skin down there so you can use your facial steamer for this step but i just ran hot water in a towel and placed it on my skin i did this for about two to three times to make sure the pores are open and ready for the next step the next step is to apply a brightening mask so to make this you need your aztec healing indian clay <laughs> turmeric powder and organic yogurt you might also need apple cider vinegar but this is when you want to use it subsequently not right after you've shaved because it's gonna burn so i added about two teaspoons of the um, aztec healing clay mask and a little bit of turmeric you know turmeric tends to stain and then I added about two tablespoons of yogurt and mix it all together. 
the Aztec healing clay mask will help with detoxifying the skin. It will bring those um, ingrown hairs to the surface of the skin and clear them. On the other hand, turmeric and yogurt will help to lighten dark spots, help to reduce the bumps and with consistent use of this mask, you will notice that down there is looking brighter. This mask should be used subsequently, the same way you do masks on your face, you know, that's the same way you should mask down there, like two to three times in a week. It should be a regular routine for down there. You just don't want to do it once and expect a miracle. You want to consistently use this down there the same way you take care of the skin on your face. That's the same way you should also take care of the skin down there. Note that the apple cider vinegar should be added for subsequent use, not right after you've shaved because it is going to burn you. So the next step is the aftershave care. This basically means to moisturize your skin. To do this, um, you can do this by using baby oil. Um, it is mild on the skin, it is soft, so it's not going to cause any burn or irritation. And we leave down there moisturized and shiny. Another thing you can use is shea butter. Shea butter is amazing for preventing ingrown hairs or bumps down there. It is also very mild and soft on the skin. Here I'm using my whipped shea butter. Just want to apply that on your skin. Rub that in. It's going to leave your skin nice, smooth and soft. I recently started using men's aftershave balm after I shave on my under my armpit down there and guys let me tell you we have been sleeping on men's shaving product this stuff works so well in making sure that um, down there stays bump free it is amazing like you can also use aloe vera gel after shaving it's amazing it suits the skin so it's not going to irritate your skin or anything like that and um, it's going to keep it moisturized and smooth like i mentioned before you want to have a routine for down there so one of the things that i love to use down there to make sure that it stays clear and nice is kojic sand lightning soap you want to make sure to get your hands on the original one this stuff works so well for brightening the skin and mind you i don't use this all over my skin i just use it to treat some Part of my skin are that very pigmented so you just want to apply that on a wet skin i like to leave it on for five minutes three to five minutes and then i go in with my exfoliating gloves and just work it in use the koji sand soap on your bikini area two to three times in a week another tip to make sure that down there stays bright and clear is to use your face product face products that are meant to clear dark spots your bhas your ahas you can use them down there to clear dark spots um ingrown hairs hyperpigmentation also something to keep in mind is that just as you don't use um, these um, products on your face every single day it's the same way you don't want to use it down there because they contain active ingredients and they might overwhelm the skin so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you found it helpful if you did give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment in the comment section below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already click on the bell icon so you get notified anytime i post a new video i'll talk to you guys in my next video